This video is on network-related indicators. There are several network-related indicators for potential malicious activity. First, we have bandwidth consumption. This is based on the amount of data the network is able to transmit, and it is usually monitored by network performance monitor tools. If you detect high consumption, you will pinpoint the process that is causing it and analyze the cause using Wireshark or similar tools. You can simply type perfmon in the run box and find out what process is causing the high usage. There are multiple reasons why bandwidth usage might be high, from malicious traffic to potentially critical updates in progress. After analyzing it, once you come up with processes to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. Beginning is a type of command and control communication between your computer and a server. If your computer has been infected, it's going to try to begin to the command center to say I'm still infected and is able to be controlled by you. This usually means your computer has been infected by malware and is part of a botnet network. Botnets are utilized by threat actors for denial of service attacks that require a lot of computing power. Beginning occurs at random intervals and at random frames, bypassing most antivirus solutions on the market. So one of the most effective ways to catch this is to create a baseline using a network monitoring tool and identifying anomalies outside of that. You'll be able to see when an anomaly started and identify what has changed like new patches, new software, etc. since the anomaly has started to narrow down the potential threat list. Some beacons can be tied to software updates and it's up to security analysts to pinpoint the actual threat. Most of the time, P2B communications are legitimate. However, when unprivileged accounts or privileged accounts connect to regular or other hosts, it is a malicious indicator. This may show lateral movements within a network. Another abnormal P2P communication indicators may be logs that show repeated failed logins, and these may be caught using security logs. And there's also rogue devices. They're simply unauthorized node on a network that can simply be prevented with comply to connect which is a framework to discover, identify, characterize, and report on all devices connecting to a network. It simply scans and sweeps the network and reports on any issues on the network, from changes to updates to what have you.